Now, the truth is, Cruz is right. New York City values are a very left wing. But the rest of the state lines up fairly conservative, although not at the level of Senator Cruz. However, as in any state, New Yorkers are sensitive, folks. Look at me. So the senator has to overcome his initial New York values comments, valid or not. Now, I, your humble correspondent, am a born and raised New Yorker. But I've lived all over the country, Dallas, Denver, Portland, Oregon, Boston, Miami. I can tell you New York's a different kind of place, especially because there are nearly 20 million people in the Big Apple metropolitan area. With that many folks, you have to be more aggressive even to get a hot dog. And some around the country consider that aggressiveness to be rude. On the political front, the Democratic Party firmly in control of New York State, very similar to California. Even though Donald Trump is likely to win the Republican primary here, he'll have a very tough time in New York State up against Hillary Clinton in the general election, if he gets there. As Talking Points reported last night, New York is a machine state, and the Democrat machine dominates. As for Ted Cruz, a conservative Texan who now has to convince jaded New Yorkers that he's not denigrating them, that he was simply pointing out Donald Trump's past history of giving donations to people like Hillary Clinton and Governor Andrew Cuomo. But as we pointed out, Mr. Trump did that as a real estate guy. And in this city, business people have to spread the money around if they want to get anything done. Talking Points believes that Donald Trump is now a conservative, although not nearly as right wing as Mr. Cruz is. Bottom line, if Ted Cruz wants to keep Donald Trump below 50 percent in New York, he's got a lot of hard work to do. And that's the memo. Now for the top story tonight, Senator Cruz already on the job. He joins us from Brooklyn. So am I making any mistakes in my analysis, Senator? Well, Bill, you know, I think people across New York and across the country knew exactly what New York values means. And, and those are the values of liberal Democratic politicians who have been hammering this state. You know, I've been campaigning across, across New York, and people are stopping me literally every day and say, I know exactly what you meant. And I'm fed up with what these liberal Democrats are doing to us, the people of New York. They're, they're the ones suffering for it. And, and, and as you noted, Donald Trump has been funding it year after year But not after as a year. politician. You know, you ought to, and just for, you know, because I give Trump some advice when he comes on here, although I guess he's mad at me now, I'm not sure. But I'll give you a little advice. You know what you should do? Hold a press conference in Penn mm. Station. Hold a press conference in Penn Station. Take a look at what's happened to that place under the uber-liberal yeah. mayor de Blasio. But... Mm -hmm. The perception of New Yorkers, and, and almost 10,000 people showed up to hear Trump uh, speak at mm -hmm. Beth Page on Long Island. Perception yeah. is you're, you're a Texas guy, a Bible Belt guy. You don't know, understand us up here. You know, that, that's what well, is going around. Let, let me tell you, yesterday I, I was in the Bronx, and, and, and I had a meeting with, with Hispanic and African pastors uh, who were... It was a tremendous gathering, and it was interesting. It was hosted by a Democratic state senator named Ruben Diaz, is an elected Democrat representing the Bronx in the New York State Senate. And he brought up New York values. He said, you know what, I know exactly what you meant by that. And he brought up that, that Andrew Cuomo, the governor, said if you're pro-life, if you support traditional marriage, if you believe in the Second Amendment, there is no place for you in New York State. And, and Senator Diaz, a Democrat, he said, I'm a Democrat, but my Democratic governor said there's but, no place for me as a pastor. But, Senator, Th that's Trump the doesn't sort of liberal intolerance. That. Right, but Trump doesn't subscribe to any of that. Look, you're well, to the right. He, you're, does. he you're, funded it. No, no, but he funded Bill, it as a Bill, businessman. If you write checks. You can have two but, lives. But, but no, Bill, Bill. Yeah. He wrote two checks to Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. He didn't have to do that to build. Why do you think to yeah, do any real estate? You he know how they did play that. the game here. Look, I'm going to no, tell you that's this. not true. I know lots you're of businessmen who've never given a Trump. check to, to, to Hillary Clinton. You are more. You are more conservative but, but it's, it's, than it's, Trump. It's, Bill. It's Bill. It's actually Bill. It's actually not a question of being more conservative or not. If you're fed up with the corruption of Washington, yeah. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are flip sides of the same coin. Hillary Clinton has made millions of dollars selling power and access in Washington, and Donald Trump has made billions of dollars buying power and access in Washington, but he did buying it as people a like business Hillary man. Clinton. He did it as a business But man. he's part of the corruption. He's part of the corruption. Right. He's funded open border Democrats for 40 years. And the people but, of New York are hurting. You know, you, you want to see the, what New York values look like? Look at Mayor Bill de Blasio, a liberal Democrat. That politician, right after he got elected, one of the first things he did 
is he tried to shut down charter schools in Harlem, tried to throw young African American and Hispanic kids out of schools that were giving them hope because he's so much but in you're hot not to running the union against bosses him. and teachers. Against Trump, and that's what I want to get back to. Now, you got but you Trump and Kasich. Trump is responsible for the policies he supported. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not buying it. You and Kasich have got to I, keep I, Trump. I know you defend him a lot, Bill. That's I, your I defend him when I defend him <laughs> on points that I think are valid. But I go after him, and that's why he's not on the program because he's mad at me. I, all right. But well, and you he's and terrified Kasich, to debate. As you know, I invited him to debate he, he on your show, and you and and he's he terrified to, to debate because, I don't know if he's terrified, because he doesn't have he, any real solutions. All right, hold he it. He doesn't hold it, have hold any it. real answers. You yeah. and Kasich have got to keep him under fifty percent. Okay. If you do, then you both pick up some delegates. If you don't, he gets the whole deal. So he's going to go, and he's going to go out, he's going to do what he's doing, Lion Ted, I don't know what he calls Kasich this week, but he'll figure out a name. Um, and I'm just wondering what your positive message is to New Yorkers. I mean, what are you selling us? What are you selling us? So we just did a rally in Schenectady that had thousands of people standing in line. And my positive message is the exact same thing I focused on every day in Wisconsin, and we want a landslide okay, victory in Wisconsin. It is three things. It is jobs freedom and security my number one priority as president is bringing jobs back to america all right now, if i'm in elected york, president we will repeal obamacare i got, I got we don't know all we that, will but in new york specifically you got a governor who's not going to frack okay if you frack you'd help upstate mm -hmm. new york like crazy you as president now those are new york force, politician values taking yeah, away but jobs you're not going to force fracking. cuomo to frack you see i don't know how you're going to bring jobs to new york specifically i got 30 well, seconds well let me answer you Go. bill you bring jobs to New York by repealing Obamacare, by passing a flat tax, by abolishing the IRS, by reining in the EPA and the federal regulators, by stopping amnesty and ending sanctuary cities. We'll see millions of high-paying jobs. We'll see wages rising, and we'll see young people coming out of school with opportunity and with three, four, five job offers again. That's what this election's about, jobs and raising wages for working Americans who corrupt Washington has been leaving behind. All right. So if you do the press conference in Penn Station, I'll go. I want to see that. Because that place is unbelievable. It's like New Delhi, India. That's what it looks like now. All right, Senator, hey, we always appreciate you coming on. I'll continue to convince, uh, try to convince Donald Trump to debate you here in a factor. That'll be big if that ever.